I had a question come up about Tundra tires and weight, and I figured since I've got from the original, the EPO foam wheels, from the color match version, the first soft squishy ones, and from the newest V2, soft squishy slightly different ones, might as well go ahead and show quickly uh, what's going on. So obviously the, the first ones were these hard um, EPO foam, they're really light though. So that whole wheel is only 22 grams. Um, the other one's on my Tundra currently because I'm flying with these. That's how much I uh, prefer them. Then the second, uh, the color match, they went with these. They wanted a, a balloonier. There's definitely one more give to it. It's a, it's a cool idea tire, but three times the weight almost isn't quite worth. <laughs> that's per tire. So that's a lot of extra weight, and it definitely throws off CG. Uh, people point out in the RC groups forum. And then the latest, the V2, a few of us noticed that these are seem to be a little softer. So here's the kind of that one and similar push. It, it's hard to get on video. This one, well here, let's show. First one, it's about the same weight. The other issue is these don't seem to be glued to the hub as well. Sorry about the tractor passing by, fun of doing it outside. Um, and like this one, um, I actually, this, this tire tore and it completely popped off the hub. Several uh, RC groups members have pointed out that they've had their, their wheel pop off the hub. I can probably just, well, yeah. Also, I'm curious. So yeah, this one is coming in at 57 grams. The other one is 62. And the reason for that, I'm fairly certain, is this one feels softer, but also like right here, there's a hole. Um, like if I push right here, same amount of pressure, there's definitely a, I can feel a hole in the foam here. So they just, I don't know if they changed the actual fill formula, if they're not gluing these anymore, what it is, but the latest wheels, sorry, Durafly, these, these just aren't as good. And again, I'm, I'm back to using my EPO foam ones. So, uh, that's all I got for this one today. Like, comment if you got any thoughts on it. Like I said, I'm back to running my original EPO wheels on my Tundra and uh, keeping these guys for who knows what. I'll make some kind of <laughs> airboat type vehicle or something. I don't know. The good thing about being a little bit of a hoarder is you keep some of the big wheels so you can go back to your Gen 1 tires when you need to. Again, thanks for checking it out. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next one.